Back home, 25 border control officials from all of the Gambia security services have completed a three-week training course on the border surveillance and territorial control organized by the Spanish Gandia Civil. And the training aims at mitigating border management challenges posed by a translogical advancement and globalization. Moses Mendy has the details in this report. The Gambia Immigration Department is mandated by the relevant provisions of the Immigration Act 1965 to manage and control the borders of the country. But over the years, challenges posed by technological advancement and globalization have prevented the department from making headways in this endeavor. The absence of strategic operational modalities and patrol equipment supported by professional and well-trained border officials means smugglers and traffickers can easily outmaneuver border controllers. The three weeks of training facilitated by officials from the Spanish Guarda Civil has therefore proved a way forward for border control officials to effectively and efficiently confront challenges and threats posed by these criminal activities. The Director General of the Gambia Immigration Department, CDM Toure, believes the training will go a long way in enhancing capacity in the overall management and control of national borders. This training for the officials will indeed go a long way in enhancing our capacity in the overall management and control of our national frontiers. Additionally, it is envisaged that on the completion of this training, the officers trained would have acquired the requisite knowledge and I challenge them to implement the best practices that have been learned and equally share the experience with our colleagues. I am of the conviction that this aim has been accomplished given the caliber of facilitators who contributed to the training. The training is just one of a series of other trainings conducted by the Guarda Civil for officers of the Gambia Immigration Department and relevant stakeholders. Speaking at the closing ceremony of the training program, a representative of the Spanish antenna, Ana Garcia, highlighted areas in which her country has been contributing to the Gambia. This is a very significant part of the overall work that Spain is doing in the Gambia in security sector. Just the past year, we have engaged in multiple capacity building projects. We have fully launched the COP Gambia project, which is an EDU funding project to fight migrant smuggling and human trafficking. We have further developed the Guardia Civil Joint uh, Land and Sea Patrol with the GID and the Gambian Navy. And we have reinforced the Ministry of Interior in their material capacities, um, as well as uh, in their budget support. Although migration offers great potential to promote economic growth and social development through skills, dynamism and innovation. The state, on the other hand, has a legitimate interest in safeguarding national security and combating transnational crimes such as trafficking, smuggling and terrorism. These officials who have been awarded certificates for completing the capacity development training will now return to their various posts in the hope of reducing potential vulnerabilities and lapses in the country's border security. Reporting for iAfrica News. I am Moses Imende.